once again, people have fallen into Alibaba's trap. When the stock went from seventy to ninety, people were so happy, celebrating, saying this was a new bullish trend for Alibaba. Guess what? All it did was create new bag holders. I lost so much money in Alibaba. I have no words for it. It was my second worst trade of my life. I should have got out of this in twenty twenty when they announced a tech crackdown. That was a sign to get the f out. Look at this ugly, ugly chart. Does this look bearish to you? It was at a high of three nineteen. People are holding huge, huge bags. Just because it has a low PE ratio doesn't mean that people want to buy the stock. Again, it's not about fundamentals. It never was. That's why it's trading at this price. No one wants it. It's all about political risk. I'm going to show you an article from Seeking Alpha. This is Alibaba. Nothing has changed to make buys compelling. Here are the summary. I have been skeptical of buys on Alibaba. It looks like this view has been accurate so far. Since my last update, Baba has lagged the spy by twelve percent. That's huge. Revenue growth is still lackluster, particularly in the most Relevant segment of China commerce, due to a reduction in take rates and customers' preferences for lower price items, I have mentioned margin expansion upside as a key upside risk in my last update. But this is not playing out so far, except in the cloud business. Valuations, of course, continue to be low, but I believe this is insufficient, as I require a strong sales rebound catalyst to justify fresh buys. Major investors continue to be bullish on Alibaba, which now has a stock as its largest holding. But I prefer to not fight the bearish trend until it starts to turn. It is risky to fight a bearish technical trend. Many investors, even legendary names such as the late Charlie Munger, have been bullish on Alibaba over the year, last years, enticed by their parent valuation discounts. Yet those investments have been caught in a valley trap as the stock has gradually continued eroding versus the S and P five hundred. Still, many investors are doubling down and adding to their position in the stock. However, for investors not managing billions of dollars and hence not prone to liquidity constraints, I believe it is wise to simply not fight the very apparent bearish trend in the stock. Instead, I prefer to wait for the right side of the V, making a strong likelihood of a genuine reversal in the stock. I believe Alibaba continues to be a value trap without a good catalyst to mark a turnaround and gradual underperformance of its stock. The key catalyst I've been waiting for is a growth rebound in revenues. However, the latest data shows no improvement in this regard. China's retail sales data reinforces the view that the performance in the largest and most relevant segment for Alibaba. Ah,、oh, I can't believe it. People got trapped once again. Let me know, guys. Did you buy more Alibaba?